Right, the next step is to lay out our joists. And for this example here, we're going to space our joists at 16 inches on center. Now, deciding which way to lay your joists is basically you're going to look for the shortest span. So if I ran the joist this direction, that would be the shortest span. So they're going to run this way, so they're going to get spaced in this direction. So I'm going to work in this view right here. And the first step that I do is I'm going to copy it. So basically, I'm always going to have two different options as far as laying out the joists. The first thing I'm going to do is come to the center of this line, or the center of the building, and draw a line straight down. Then I'm going to offset that line 16 inches the whole way over to the end. My joist spacing is 16 inches on center. So from center of joist to the next center of joist is 16 inches. Now here on the end, I'm basically going to have to pick up this last one and move it to that point right there. Just simply because if I just left it this, then I wouldn't have a joist on my end. And if I skip this one altogether, then the distance from that point to that point would be more than 16 inches, and it wouldn't be correct. And then I can just mirror those ones over to that side. And that's basically how my joist would lay out. That was starting right in the middle of the building with a joist. And these orange lines right here are just representing joists. Now in my next example, I'm going to start in the middle again. But this time, I'm going to offset 8 inches to each side of the middle and then erase the one in the middle. So instead of starting right in the middle with a joist, I'm basically straddling the middle with a joist, with two joists. So then I can offset these 16 inches. And again, the last one, I need to move it back to that location. And then I can just mirror these from my midpoint. And those are two options that I could use for laying out joists. Either one would technically be correct, because none of them are spaced more than 16 inches apart. But there is one option that is better than the other. It just so happens to be this one I'm circling. And the reason that is, if I just erase these objects for a second, you can see whenever I erase, it counts them. It tells me that there's 12 objects there. So that would equate to 12 joists. If I go up to this one, it tells me I have 13 objects or 13 joists. So even though they would both work, this one right here would end up costing me more money because I'd have to buy one more joist. So I'm always going to try to use the cheapest one, the least expensive. So I'm going to erase that. And I know my joists, the center of my joists are going to be located perpendicular to this line. So I'm just going to use my copy command. I'm going to make a window around the joist. And I'm going to copy it from the midpoint there to the perpendicular on each one of these lines. my construction lines and then that's basically how the joists are going to be laid out. And the last thing to look at is whenever we started, we started with this view and we didn't know which direction our joists were going to run. Now that we know that they're running this way and that we wouldn't actually see this, I'm going to erase those and draw a line from there to there 
just going to match properties with the rest of my framing. And this is what I would actually see in this view, the side view of the joist, where here I see the end view.